क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends now we are going to talk about the another distillation process and that is distillation under reduced pressure so what is the definition what is the principle behind this and how this process is been done so now let us talk about this one but before understanding the procedure behind it or the principle behind it let us understand the definition or the meaning of the distillation under reduced pressure and that is The process in which a liquid is made to boil at temperature lower than its normal boiling point by reducing the pressure of its surface is called as distillation under reduced pressure. So this is a very simple concept that I want to talk about, and that could be explained with the help of a diagram also. But let me talk about the principle behind this one. Obviously, we understand that is whenever a liquid has a vapor pressure of one atmosphere, it is basically it is boiling. But what happens if the one atmosphere pressure is been reduced? So in this case, we don't have to provide extra temperature. In fact, we have to provide less temperature to it so that the liquid can be converted into gas. So the same principle is behind distillation under reduced pressure, and that could be easily explained with the help of this diagram. So now let me introduce this diagram so that you could understand in a very better way. So this is the diagram that you can see on the screen. So what kind of apparatus does it contains? Let me talk about that. So again, the same thing that is, it consists of the round bottom flask, as you could see, a special kind of round bottom flask, and it is basically it is connected with this capillary to regulate the air. So what is the use of it? Let me talk about this later. As well as here, a basically a thermometer has been uh, attached over here. So the reason behind that is we have to detect the boiling point of the particular liquid, and that is basically it has been connected through the water condenser, and that is what we have did in the distillation process. And now that is how we can receive the distilled or the pure liquid here. So this is what it is being connected through vacuum pump, and this is basically the manometer. So what is the use of it? Let me explain this one. So the use of the vacuum pump is basically it is used to reduce the pressure. So because of this reduction of pressure, obviously we will find that is the temperature that is being required or the normal temperature that is being required for a liquid to boil. We don't have to provide that normal temperature. In fact, we have to provide less temperature to the liquid so that it will boil very easily. So in this method, basically we are considering those liquids which have higher boiling point, and that is how because of this method or because of this principle that is to reduce the pressure, we can easily we can boil the particular liquid, and that is how we can easily distillate the specific liquid. That is what we have to purify. So now let me talk about the method, and uh, let me come to the point. So it consists of a round bottom flask, as you would see over here, and that consists of the liquid or the desired liquid for which we have to purify, and. It is basically it is being connected through a capillary tube, as you could see over here. The reason behind that is because the whole apparatus is basically it is under vacuum, so there should be a certain region where the excess amount of air should escape. Otherwise, this whole apparatus would destroy. So that is the reason that a stopper cock is being applied over here. So that suppose if we find any kind of pressure that has been increasing, because in through this manometer we can easily measure that how much uh, pressure is basically it has been maintained in this uh, apparatus. So while observing that, we can release. And uh, this cock, so that the air it could be released, and that is how basically the pressure could be maintained. So now the next process is, if the liquid boils, obviously it will go through this condenser, and obviously the gaseous or the vapor phase of the liquid it will get condensed over here. But what is the use of this vacuum pump? So the use of this vacuum pump is to basically reduce the pressure above the liquid layer, and that is how basically we could find that is the liquid gets easily. Boils or it gets easily boils or it is been converted into vapor state easily without being reaching the normal boiling point. So this is how we can provide less temperature to the liquid which has higher boiling point. And this is the manometer so as to measure that how much pressure that is to be maintained in the overall apparatus. And that is what the theory is. So this was a very simple process and a very simple method that has been applied in nowadays so as to. Obtain a pure liquid, and most of all, it is basically it is used for in non-volatile liquids. So this is what I was mentioning about. So that's it. Thank you, friends, for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly, and I hope you have got to know that why this kind of process is being used. So I hope you will share this video with your friends, and yes, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.